All right, folks. All right, this is Sofer here, showing you stuff that I've been working on on my test recently. Here we see our beloved little vessel, the, the boat. If you look closely at this boat, I've never understood why, but I always wondered what's going on here. What does it look like? Uh, a chocolate bar or something that went wrong? Pixels are all aligned. It's got a couple of weird bands going across, and all in all, it's just it's kind of weird. It's kind of shapeless. I can't make head nor tails out of what it is. So I decided to uh, to load up the model in Blender and figure out what's going on here. Okay, there seems to be some sort of a rudder shape in the back with a handle. What's this shape here in the front? Why are these grooves in the top? Okay. Let's go take a look at this in Blender, shall we? Alright, so here's Blender, and I'll try and actually walk through the steps of me loading up the current boat model. Alright, so first things first, I'm in object mode. I'm going to be uh, selecting the box. We can right click on it, or we can click on the cube here, and then just delete it. There's the delete button right there. There you go. Alright, now we can import. I'll import wavefront object, and we go to uh, get. Uh, I got so much source code in here. Get my test game mods, boats, models, boat object. All right, here's a beloved boat object. We've got it set to solid rendered material. And as you can see, we can start seeing the shape a little bit. Alright. Well, this is really cool. There's the boat model in Blender. It imports without any issues. Alright, you can see the axes. Blue is up, and Blender is Z. Y is this way, and X is this way. Alright. So, I loaded this model up in Blender, and um, turned it to wireframe, and oh my god! <laughs> Did someone say triangles? Alright. This is really bad. Why is this bad? Well, the boat model is pretty simple, but... Triangles is what graphics card use to draw 3D graphics, and the more triangles, the more work the graphics card has to do. So, what can we do about this? This is horrible, horrible. If you look at the top here, I can zoom, but I can't really show it to you. There's... 1476 triangles in this model, which is... That's just crazy. That's that's nuts. There's maybe 45, 50 flat surfaces in this model, and so we should probably go and do something about it. So we can go and actually use Blender to do that. Alright, so we probably want to uh, select the boat here. Go to edit mode, so we can start doing something about it. Clean up. Click some buttons in here. Oh, sorry. Limited this off. Oh my god, look at this. Click one of the random mesh cleanup tools in Blender and the model looks perfectly fine. And we have 152 triangles. That is just sweet. 152 triangles. We've reduced the amount of triangles already by a factor. 12 or something like that. And we haven't even affected the shape. So what we probably want to do is solve the next problem. If you remember, the boat had this horrible texture. The texture was giant bands of brown. Alright, we probably need to redo it from scratch. We're just gonna go and, I don't know, UV unwrap. And then we're going to split our pin here, so we get two pins. I just don't need this one for a while, and I can set this one to the UV image editor. Okay, now we have our UV map over here. If I just throw an image in here by clicking Open Image and going to our wood image from Mind Test game. Let's go... No. Did that wrong. Um, go to get my test 
Test game. Mods. Default. We're going to pick up the default wood texture from the game. And it's all the way at the bottom. Double click. Alright, now we have our default wood texture. If I now click, we click on texture over here. We can see, okay, I can start to see something. Start to see the text banding over here. And if you remember that in the game, it showed these horrible text bands. Well, this is the reason why what's happening is these textures are being stretched ginormously over these things. So that's not good at all. So we want to redo this. And this is going to be quite some job. We've got, uh, you know, 45 or so, 45 plus 50 plus surfaces some are quite complex and some are quite quite going to be quite difficult to do like what do we do with this one but in general the process is all right let's just take this side over here and let's go and say okay what we want to do is we want to stretch it actually i want to do quickly set it to snap to pixels which will make it really easy to do I'm going to just start out and saying like, okay, what happens if I just make it big? All right, that looks a little bit better. Do I, okay, that looks weird. Maybe I should need to rotate this one by 90 degrees. UVs, transform, rotate. Uh, that's not good. I need to just select the whole thing. Transform, rotate. Rotate by 90 degrees. Oh, hey, this kind of looks good. Look, the grain of the wood is in the length of the boat. So now, let's go so and see. Maybe, maybe that looks kind of better. What if he just makes this take six pixels of the boat itself? Yeah, that kind of looks good. It's not really a uh, not really a decent one just yet. So I we'll probably need to go and use some of the tunings over here to give it a uh, material. Give it a boat. Let's make a new material. Sign. I don't know. There's a bunch of buttons you want to do. Oh, there you go. New material. There you go. Got this thing selected. We say assign. And then we do go put texture in here. And then we say image or movie. And texture. And we want to just load the one that we got. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. So now. Blender knows to use this texture for the material. We can start assigning all this, all the textures to that material. Click assign. And then if we put some more light on here, it will start to look nice in a second. As you can see, I am not a Blender expert, but as you can see, it's starting to take shape a little bit. Um, there's another thing you could do is over here is just make the pattern repeat by making it larger. I'm just going to drag it out to the right. And you'll see that even though I've dragged this into Oblivion, the second part here, which is now somewhere around here, is just repeating the first part. So I've got a nice little repeating board here. I can make it really long or say, well, one or two repeats is long enough. Now the boat here is boat here is um, 10, 20, just over 20 large in the Blender model, and that translates to about two nodes large in the actual my, uh, mind test world because of the factor 10 scaling for entities. So we just want to make this about two blocks large here, so that the wood texture repeats once, twice. Now we're going to have to do this for all of these textures. I want to just Scale them all up. Uh, rotate them. Rotate them 90 degrees. Then we want to figure out how many pixels do we want in each flat surface. We'll make this one six. So this one should probably just be maybe three. We want to make it about twice as large. You get the idea, right? Okay, now we want to kind of say, like, okay, we want to pick this texture from over here. We want to pick this texture from maybe a different part I say maybe move it move it down a little bit move this one down move this one down to kind of get a nice little layout All right this is a lot of work and 
I've already already done that, so I'm not going to redo it. But you kind of get the idea what UV unmapping actually means. You can kind of load up my previous blender from the boat. That has everything done. And here is the end result. Still using the same texture. If I go into uh, edit mode and grab all the surfaces, you see what's going on here. This is the actual resulting UV map. See that I've doubled the size here and some of the weird surfaces here at the end are um, what's at the end here and the sides are mapped across on the same locations. And now we can actually get a good look at the result and do a render even. It's a fairly nice boat. Okay, as you can see, I've made the grain go around the corners. Right, it all matches here. Slightly better view in the texture mode. And uh, yeah, this all looks nice. Green goes around the corner here, black stripes. Rather slightly different, but it all matches up nicely. So this is a nicely re UV and rep boat. So all we need to do now is export this model back to wavefront format OBGA and put it back in my test and we'll go and take a look at see how the boat now looks. Alright, we are back in my test and we have just changed to use a new boat model and a new UV map. So we are not changing the texture or the shape of the boat. And we have this really good effect. The boat now actually looks like it is made out of wood. As a matter of fact, if you grab your inventory and just grab some wooden planks and put them side by side, you'll see that um, it matches quite nicely. Tint is a little bit off. Models are mesh models. Entities are always slightly different tinted than the actual world. Probably due to uh, tone mapping. They changed it a little bit too. But as you can see, this does a great job for the model. And look at that, we got the, the wooden texture pretty nicely lined up. I don't know why I'm floating in the air right now here. My idea was just to set it side by side. Alright, let's just get off the boat for a second. Ew, there's a bucket right there. Alright. Alright, so as you can see, yeah, the wooden wooden texture is almost the same size. That's a really good effect. Now we can see that the boat is actually made out of wood, and the idea was to make it look like there's three little logs that were connected and a rudder that sticks out the back. There you go. Brand new boat. Nicely done. Alright folks. That's enough about the boat. Let's go do something else. We'll see you later. Bye.